Pancreatic cancer is a formidable opponent, and understanding its progression is crucial for patients and their loved ones. Today, we're readdressing a difficult but necessary topic, the signs that pancreatic cancer has spread to other organs. This information may be frightening, but knowledge is power in your fight against this disease. Let's begin by clearly defining metastasis. When we say cancer has spread, or metastasized, it means that cancer cells from the original tumor in the pancreas have broken free and traveled to other parts of the body. Imagine the tumor as a dandelion, sending out seeds on the wind. These cancer seeds can travel through the bloodstream or lymphatic system, potentially taking root and growing in distant organs. Now, let's discuss the specific signs based on where pancreatic cancer most commonly spreads. The liver is often the first site affected. If cancer reaches the liver, you may notice a worsening of jaundice. This means your skin and the whites of your eyes may become more intensely yellow, and your urine may darken. You might also experience significant pain or a feeling of fullness under your right rib cage. Nausea can become more persistent and severe. When pancreatic cancer spreads to the lungs, it can cause noticeable respiratory symptoms. Be alert for a persistent cough that doesn't seem to go away, especially if you cough up blood. You may find yourself becoming short of breath, more icily, even during light activities. Recurrent chest infections can also be a warning sign that cancer has reached the lungs. The lining of the abdomen, known as the peritoneum, is another common site for pancreatic cancer to spread. When this happens, it can lead to a condition called ascites. This is a buildup of fluid in the abdominal cavity that causes noticeable swelling and bloating. You may feel a sense of pressure or fullness in your abdomen that wasn't there before. Bone metastases from pancreatic cancer can cause severe, localized pain. This pain is often described as deep and aching, and it may worsen at night or when you're trying to rest. Common sites include the back, hips, or other load-bearing bones. If you notice sudden, intense pain in your bones that doesn't seem related to injury or activity, it's crucial to report this to your oncology team immediately. Bone metastases can also increase the risk of fractures, so any unexplained bone pain needs prompt attention. In addition to these location-specific symptoms, advanced pancreatic cancer can cause systemic or whole body effects. One of the most noticeable is drastic, unintentional weight loss, coupled with muscle wasting, a condition known as cachexia. You may find that you're losing weight rapidly, despite not changing your diet. Your clothes may become loose, and you might notice a loss of muscle mass, particularly in your arms and legs. Overwhelming fatigue is another systemic sign that the cancer has progressed. This isn't the kind of tiredness that's relieved by a good night's sleep. It's a bone-deep exhaustion that persists no matter how much you rest. You may find it increasingly difficult to perform daily activities or to stay awake for extended periods. As the cancer advances, you may also notice a general decline in your overall function. Tasks that were once easy may become challenging. You might feel weaker, less coordinated, or experience a decrease in your mental sharpness. These changes can be subtle at first, but tend to progress over time. It's critical to understand that experiencing these symptoms doesn't automatically mean your cancer has spread. Many of these signs can be caused by other factors or complications of pancreatic cancer treatment. However, they are serious enough to warrant immediate medical attention. If you notice any of these changes, don't wait. Contact your oncology team right away. The appearance of these symptoms means that your disease may have progressed and your treatment plan may need to be adjusted. But I want to emphasize this clearly. This is not a reason to give up hope, it's a call to action. Prompt communication with your medical team is essential. They need to know about any new or worsening symptoms so they can provide the best possible care. When pancreatic cancer spreads, it's true that the goals of treatment often shift. The focus may move from attempting to cure the disease to controlling its growth. Managing symptoms, relieving pain, and maintaining the best possible quality of life for as long as possible. This change in approach doesn't mean giving up. It means adapting your strategy to fight the cancer on new terms. Your oncology team has a wide range of tools and treatments available to address metastatic pancreatic cancer. These may include different chemotherapy regimens, targeted therapies, or immunotherapies that can help slow the cancer's growth and alleviate symptoms. Radiation therapy might be used to target painful bone metastases or shrink tumors that are causing specific problems. Palliative care specialists can play a crucial role at this stage, 
focusing on your comfort and quality of life. They can help manage pain, nausea, and other symptoms, allowing you to feel as well as possible. Remember, palliative care is not the same as hospice care. It s an additional layer of support that can be beneficial at any stage of cancer treatment. It's normal to feel scared, angry, or overwhelmed when facing the possibility that your cancer has spread. These are natural, human reactions to a deeply challenging situation. Don't hesitate to reach out for emotional support, whether from loved ones, support groups, or mental health professionals who specialize in working with cancer patients. As you navigate this difficult terrain, remember that you are not alone. Your medical team, your loved ones, and the broader pancreatic cancer community are here to support you. Every person's journey with this disease is unique, and there is no one-size-fits-all approach to treatment or coping. Stay vigilant about changes in your body, but try not to let fear of progression consume you. Focus on the things you can control. Taking your medications as prescribed, attending your medical appointments, eating as well as you can, and engaging in gentle physical activity if you're able. These actions can help you feel more empowered in your fight against the disease. In closing, I want to emphasize again the importance of open, honest communication with your healthcare team. They are your partners in this fight, and the more information they have, the better they can tailor your care to your specific needs. Don't hesitate to ask questions, express your concerns, or seek clarification on anything you don't understand. Remember, knowledge of these potential signs of cancer spread is not meant to instill fear, but to empower you to be proactive in your care. By staying informed and maintaining close contact with your medical team, you're giving yourself the best possible chance at managing this disease effectively. This is Dr. James from Pancreatic Cancer Warriors, providing clarity at every stage of the fight. Stay strong, stay informed, and never lose hope.